Women are the greatest teachers we know as a child. And to the adult, the greatest teachers are the children themselves. Our mothers give us life. They are our first and foremost teachers. Everyone we see is someone's child. The illusion of a woman being second to a man is the beginning of a control that allows evil men to destroy our world. Disrespecting our mothers, brainwashing our children, pitting us against each other and ourselves. It has allowed the proliferation of a disgusting agenda which continues to let children around the globe be enslaved, starved, and eventually murdered. Anyone who poses as a leader is a liar if there is even but one homeless or hungry person. Love and happiness are outlawed while hatred and war are constantly in fashion. Countries of the Western world are the most barbaric states with insidious liars that continually rape the mind, body, and souls of children, our planet, space, and anything else that is within their thieving reach. This evil has grown to epic proportions and is now dramatically out of balance. When you hear a person talking about needing a government instead of being the government, realize that this is another mind rape slave that crawls through society like a zombie looking to infect anyone with an open mind who thinks freely for themselves. And this keeps the balance in favor of evil. It continues to tip the scale towards destruction. Men who have grown older but never matured are holding the world at gunpoint, indirectly and directly, using weapons to push an atmosphere of paranoia upon the planet. Everything is enslaved. Animals, plants, air, water, earth, and people. We can see the perpetrators clearly when we start to use our minds. And this is why it is so important for them to program the free-thinking individual from childhood. Wiping the mind at an early age and peer pressuring them into pledging allegiance to a flag that will shrink wrap their minds so securely that they become trapped in a prison without walls, wandering through a fake matrix of a society and believing in an excuse for a country that enables this evil to run rampant right in front of our faces. There's daily doses of fear that distract us from our natural inborn courage as we grow into an unnatural world that is devoid of courage and replaced with complacency. The patriotism is sickening, the racism is stifling, and the stupidity is overwhelming. School is where the nightmare starts. We shouldn't be surprised when we give our children to Caesars and they come back as Romans. It's ridiculous when we let what we know to be evil school our children in their most impressionable years and then act like the state of emergency that the world is in is a surprise, wondering how it came to be this way. In school, we learn a serious lesson. And that is how to lie to ourselves. We discard our common sense and let it be replaced with a program. Teachers install it and parents maintain it. Any child who rebels is looked at as bad, as if something is wrong with them. While the pharmaceutical mind molesters wait like vultures to pick away at the precious minds of our free thinking future. The cry for help is ignored by the ignorant, deaf, warped, perverted mentality of many parents who themselves do not even detect the fact that they were similar victims of what they are now putting their own children through. Children are the future, and this is how they control and continue to create a world with little opposition to their plans. We hand them our future on a silver platter, putting them on buses daily to be shipped off and trained on how not to think while following the herd straight into the meat grinder. We don't need no education and we don't need no thought control because all in all, it really is just another brick in the wall. Disrespecting our mothers, brainwashing our children, 
pitting us against each other and ourselves. It has allowed the proliferation of a disgusting agenda which continues to let children around the globe be enslaved, starved, and eventually murdered. Anyone who poses as a leader is a liar if there is even but one homeless or hungry person. Love and happiness are outlawed while hatred and war are constantly in fashion. Countries of the Western world are the most barbaric states with insidious liars that continually rape the mind, body, and souls of children, our planet, space, and anything else that is within their thieving reach. This evil has grown to epic proportions and is now dramatically out of balance. I am the stone that the builder refused I am the visual, the inspiration That made ladies sing the blues I'm the spark that makes your idea bright The same spark that lights the dark So that you can know your love from your right I am the ballad in your box The bullet in the gun The inner glow that let you know To call your brother son The story that just begun The promise of what's to come And I'ma remain a soldier Till the war is won Chop, chop, chop